Yeah. All right, I got a question for you. Yeah, hit me. Oh, my this God. Is real? Right off the bat. Is this real life? Yeah. Are you going to wear sunglasses? Should I not? Yes. Yes, dude? You should not. Yes, I should yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see them. It's all... Oh, you look good. Yeah, baby blues. I got the same thing right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's a blueberry guano. fight. Something oh, happens and you go scogging on it. No, I'm playing. It's on the floor. Ooh, I like that perp, though. Very nice. Nice perp. I uh, got you a watch right here. A watch? Um, yep. Water to drink, water to... Oh. You know what I mean? Beep, beep, beep. Are you changing? I knew you would come in here and change the whole scene. I don't know, God dude. I, don't I knew know. it. I knew I'm just, it. I knew I, okay, it. here's my first question for you. Please. Uh, and this is a real question. So when I'm writing... Uh, Lyrics or music? Both. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's always a moment where I'm starting off strong because I have right. like X amount of songs in the pocket or whatever. Uh, but then like near the end, and I'm here now in my, in my brain, ah. um, there's like I have to write... X amount of lyrics right now. I'm probably like, I don't know, four songs where it's like I got, not all the way, but I oh, got like oh. just stuff, like chunks I or see. like a, a chorus, whatever. And so, but anyway, <clears throat> do you ever look at this? Sometimes I look at a blank page, uh, uh, metaphorically and literally, yeah. and I go, <clears throat> who am I to even put anything on it? Like, why is this not beautiful already? Do you ever do that ever? Like, do you ever think about like, like who's to say this is in its purest form mm -hmm. isn't the thing? And so when I'm looking at a page, right. like, lyrics and stuff, like, all my songs at some point, almost, go through a phase where I'm like, instrumental. Who am I, yeah. to, even put, who am I to even put anything on let, there? Like, let it just breathe right. on its own. Um, is, that ever, is that ever a thing that you ever even remotely deal with? I, I have. But it's usually when I make a couple marks, I'm like, that is beautiful. Yeah, okay. But the blankness of it, I, I can entertain that, but it's usually, if I have that thought with a couple marks, it's because I am exhausted and I don't feel, I can't yeah, conjure right. it to work on it. You yeah, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So it's like we're, to me, it's like, it's like, if I call it done and there's only a couple marks, fuck everybody, it's done. Yeah, but right, in my right. soul, I'm, I know that I'm cutting Something corners. That. Well, that's what I think it, it's, it starts mm -hmm. off, it, I, I justify mm -hmm. my head by going, this is the true, like, wh who am I to speak yes. about what this should right. be? It sh it's beautiful, it's pure, whatever. But You're I think, the creator, though. <clears throat> yeah, but, You created like, the music. Yeah, but, like, even that gets weird sometimes. Totally. I'm, oh, oh, yeah. But here's the thing, though. Here's the truth. Yep. That sounds so artsy-fartsy and, like... Great. And, and, <laughs> but here's the reality. Yeah. The reality is I only entertain those thoughts at this point in my stage. I never entertain those thoughts when I'm like four, like when I've got the first four in my pocket already. Yeah. And so I think it does boil back down to laziness. Just sheer, <laughs> just sheer, like, you know what I'm yes, saying? Like, like I want, 100%. I want myself to go, oh yeah, like. It's bad it's pure. to bone. Like totally that's pure. Dude. Who and, am I mm -hmm. to taint that? Who am I to say anything about mm -hmm. it? And then, and, and of course I'm usually talking about like lyrics or even a song, <laughs> but this is just so like. Who in the world am I to be like, no, it's not, like, that's done, you know, or whatever. That's but then, bad, yeah. but then, like, I think it's literally, I only have those thoughts when it's, when I'm, you know, like, ankled, totally. like, 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 just drowning. And, it's like, I, and, I, and I'm like, yeah. I've got, I've got four days left and yes. I have to yes. write lyrics. So I'm like, you yep. know, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah. Dude. Nothing. There it is. Yes. <laughs> and it is, you know, and then, you know, you move into a different, uh, even the stress of not feeling like you want to make something and pushing through that, you right. may get some bonkers type of crap, you know? Right, right, right. And, but also, you may not, it's hard to articulate what you want when you're under that pressure, I feel sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, you know? I agree. So you're saying, so you're saying that. So I'm saying I, I'm done. Okay. I, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. All right. See you Cut guys. It. Cut. Oh, yeah, we're, I'm taking a crap. <laughs> Are you going to paint or what are you going to do? Yeah, I got to okay, look at sick. it. I got to look at it for half an hour. That's my, that's my, uh, I, well, what's funny. I don't, I've never, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what we'll my come process, over here. I don't grab, know what my process is Grab here. your, uh, grab your palette. My guy. Yep. Your duder. And, uh, these are all a bunch of beautiful colors and, um, we got some fluorescence. 
<clears throat> excuse me, we got some Lavi. Ooh. Lavatron. I think I, I just thought to grab this red, and I think that's what I'm going to do first. And this is <clears throat> cadmium red light hue. Classic. Classic. Classic red. Classic red. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I don't know, man. Jazz. Just, to, just do it, buddy. No, yeah, I know. Just do it. I mean, Nike. I know, but I don't know. There you go. You mentioned using the Sharpies over here. Is that something well, you'd like to get into? Well, I, <clears throat> I, 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 I just want to, I just want to, just give me a minute. Sure. Just yeah, take time. Take time. <laughs> Ooh, got some water. Should, I, should these be labeled this? What are y'all doing? What kind of two-bit operation well, is this? Well, we'll see. Unless you're sponsored by them. Well, we're sponsored by, the, get sponsored by the them. The Blockhouse <laughs> has water back there. Thanks a lot, y'all. <clears throat> Ooh, I got that indigo. I love that. This is my favorite color. Dude, this is my favorite it's brush good. that you've picked so far. You like that big yeah. dad? Hell yeah. Try yeah. it. No. Okay. <laughs> Is it because of what I did with it earlier? No. Okay. No. Wait, what did I do with it earlier? You'll never know. Hey, never know. Hey, that brings us to our next point. Sometimes yes. it's nice not to know. Yeah. This day yeah. and age, 2000, what, 19? You no, know, everybody, everybody knows everything. Everybody knows everything. It's like, oh, I made a sandwich today. There it is. Yeah, on video. Oh, yeah. I made a painting today. Why don't you paint your own damn painting, get together and <laughs> paint your own paintings? Get with some friends. Yeah, for real. Make it count. Make it perfect. God, dude. Oh, yeah, that's the name of this thing. Yeah. I like that name. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Oh, my gosh. Why'd you name it that? Has anyone asked you that on film yet? No. Um, Why'd I, you name it that? I made a, I put out a solo record of some songs, and I called it Make It Perfect because <clears throat> I, I was trying to get, I was so back and forth in my head about, like, worried about how it would come across sure. and, like, is this guitar part cool? Are these lyrics cool? Right. Do I sing shitty? Like all this stuff. So then I was like, it's not going to be perfect. And then kind of hit me. And then, um, and then this just kind of came about because it applies, I think. Cause I love it, that name. In um, an hour, in an hour, how perfect is it going to be? You know well, what I mean? Well, who cares about an hour? Give me two years. It would still yeah. not be perfect. You Same. know what I mean? It's totally dude. It's a, it's a fine line because I think perfection mm. is such, can be such an enemy for an artist. Oh yeah. Uh, because I, I mean, with songs and stuff, I'm, it, I mean, makes I'll, you not want to work. Well, I want it perfect. Well, it makes me want, never want to release it. You know what I'm saying? Cause, right, Cause when I'm doing it myself, it's, it's, a, it's there. Yep. It's me. It's just me and the thing. That's always beautiful. Even if it's garbage, it's, it's still, I, I know, but to release it, to let yeah. it go and let other people, we have this great, uh, thing we were talking about in the studio. Mm -hmm. I want to go on a tangent for a second. Do it. That's what you want. <clears throat> so hey. you, uh, so you, <clears throat> you spend months writing a song. You're writing it. You're like, oh man. You're like, it ain't nah. even that cold out. What? Beanie guy. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so you're like sitting there, you're writing it, you're writing it, and you're, you're like, uh, that needs to go here, that needs to go there. Mm -hmm. You do this, you switch this thing around, you're like, these drums are the worst. Let me put some more better ones. Boom. You do that. You spend all this time, months, months and months, and then you're practicing it with the band or whatever, mm -hmm. and you're doing your thing, mm -hmm. and then you're going for it, and then, you, and then you're like, ah, and you're feeling like vulnerable, and you're like, how vulnerable do I want to get? Do I want to dive into some, like, the death of my family? Do I want to dive into some stuff where it's like nothing good? Like, you know, whatever. Do I want to just be like, yo, rock and roll's cool, or yeah. whatever. All and of so, it. And then you're like, boom, boom, and then you nail it, and you get it down to a spot, not nail it, but you just get it to a spot, and you're like, yep. I feel good about this. I feel good. These things rule. Then you go into a studio. Someone pays a whole lot of money, and you're sitting there going, and you're recording, and you're doing it, and you're like, you, yeah. this take what? And this was garbage. And uh, you do like, let's do this one live. Okay, cool. Boom. You've got that one there. It's sorted. Everything's cool. And then a guy mixes it. He's like, ah. Oh. He's like, oh, that sounds good. No, that sounds good. Let's put punch that up just a bit. Mm, okay, cool. Awesome. Everything's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you you get some artwork. You're like, oh, this artwork's great because it means something because mm -hmm. it feels like this, and the, mm -hmm. and then the title of this and all this stuff. And then anyway. You you release it, day release, boom, and you see an Instagram thing that says, this sucks. Ah, man, <laughs> just like that. And then it's like, it's not even S-U-C-K-S, it's S-U-X. You're like, you're like, <gasps> you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, literally yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. it gets you, man. It, it does, you don't want to care <laughs> yep. because you, because the thing you've created is, it, it's fine. It's, mm -hmm. it's done and it's great. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, at, but at the end of the day. You want people to like it. Well. A little. Uh, yeah. You do a little, man. You do, but I, but I barely care. I just, I, it's the hilariousness. Yeah. Of just of wrapping the whole thing up, no period at the end, no capital letter, 
just T H A T S U X. Like you're just oh like, my God, jeez. From Darren Baker yeah, in I, fucking I, Wyoming, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Darren Baker. Yeah. From a 14 year old yeah, person right. that you're just like, I, I want to go to their house and be like, oh, let me see your yeah. ear band. Because oh, yeah. it must be yeah. phenomenal. Oh yeah. <laughs> and let me make you a dinner. Yeah. Josh, what's up? Dude? I'm going to encourage you, not that you haven't thought about this, to use the paint. I will. I okay. will. Paint's coming. I have. A, I, have coming? I have a. Flip my I have a thing out. happening. Cool. I think. I think. Why do you care? I'm the artist. Don't do that. Oh, I got some on there. I'll do that. Okay, so dude, you're up here recording with Duder. Yeah, Nick Raskia Lynn. God, that's man. unreal, man. He's one of my favorites. Dude, it's uh, it's a real good time. How did you? How did that <clears throat> come about? Dude, we were yeah. on. Yeah. We were on tour. You guys were on tour? Yeah. Sick. Go ahead. Uh, we were on tour with uh, Stone Sour. Oh. And he recorded them. Righteous. Among, among many others. Yeah. And, uh, That's great. And he saw us. He, so uh, <laughs> That'll do it. Korn was in the studio recording. With him? With him, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I'm kind of homies with one of those dudes. Sure. And so we, so he, he came out. And because of him coming out, uh, Nick was there while we played. Ah, very and, cool, very cool. And so... Was uh, it here? Yeah, 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 okay. Nashville, yeah. Copy. Nashish. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so, so anyway, he caught mm -hmm. us and he, that was it. He was just, he came up to me afterwards like, yo, like... Not, that what? Was, <laughs> like you can't, what, and you're nervous? I'm not nervous, I never okay, said I was sorry. nervous. Maybe, I, maybe I'm nervous. Are you serious? What? It's not even a thing. That's not, that's just a... Uh, definitely a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, well, of yeah. Of sorts. Okay, go ahead. But there's a reason it, for it. I'm with I'm it. not trying to be something sinister or something sweet, you know? That's like classic art, you know? <laughs> a knife right here, and it's just like, oh, that's so artsy. Ooh, something sinister, something sweet. Opposing uh, uh, feelings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, go is ahead. Is that my new album title? Something sinister, something sweet? Uh, I dare you. Nope. Uh, so, yeah, he saw us and was like, yo, that was nice stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to record that. And I was like, okay, well, cool. And so what's funny is... Was it like that? Literally, legit. Did he came up and he was, he was shaking my hand and he was yep. saying all this nice stuff. And I was like, that's kind of neat. Here's the thing. Yep. <clears throat> so it's me mm -hmm. and uh, Brian from Corn, and mm -hmm. then him. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of in a circle talking. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. it was a couple other people there too. But anyway, sure. so, I, so I legit thought he was kind of just being nice, like sure. cool. You know what sure. I mean? You just saw yep. us play. You're not going to not yep. say I something I appreciate nice, that. You know? Hello. That's real deal. Uh, yep. And so anyway. Really? <clears throat> a couple weeks later, my manager calls and was like, yo, uh, I just got a call and <laughs> from uh, Nick Raskulinik's manager, he says he wants to record you. And I was like, oh yeah, we hung out the other day. And he's like, why didn't you tell me that? I'm your manager. Why would you not tell me that information? I was like, dude, honestly, <laughs> I thought it yeah, was right. just like, you know what I yeah, mean? Right. Like, I didn't yeah. want him to go all Thanks being so all managery <laughs> and being like, hey, I oh, heard you like the band. You know what I mean? Because people say that all the time. Yeah. Like, oh, you guys had fun out there, you know? The and fun the, comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. It's like, dude, you guys had fun. God, and, uh, what does that mean exactly? Dude, you know it, mean, it means your band's garbage, and I'm too nice to say that your band is garbage. I'd rather not be around someone like that. Go ahead, yeah. So yeah. that's it. So, uh, you know, the, the adults handled all the finances and how that's going to work and everything yeah. else, and, and here we are. Excellent. Uh, in Nashville recording uh, our album. Are so, you feeling good about it? Dude, feeling great about it. What's the spot that you weren't feeling good about it, other than what you <laughs> mentioned earlier? Well, so that, that well, okay, so to mm -hmm. get real, that, that's where I'm at now, is, is, is writing those lyrics. But Damn. I mean, it, it's going to end up on there. Yep. The end product will be, I mean, I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, dude, if, Just, it's, if it's not mm -hmm. up to what I think's par, I won't release it. Damn, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't, I, I how, how long stuff. have you been doing this professionally? Let's long talk, time. Like 20? Almost? Uh, 99 is what I call my very first like full U.S. tour, but I was doing it before then. <laughs> I'm, I, I, here you go. Get close up with this. I'm 10, 11, 12 albums deep. God, and so I was going to ask you that. This That's will incredible. be one more. This uh, Dang, the record dude. I'm doing right now will be the one more guy. So. Hey, that's a, that's a feat in itself, man. So yeah, um, beautiful. Here we are doing mm -hmm. Nick Raskulinik. So that's uh, so 
what's that process been like with him? Has have you <clears throat> has there been any headbutting? Has it been like just very smooth? It's kind of awesome. I cool. I was nervous about that at first. I was like, mm -hmm. man, he is going to be like rip you. Well, trying to make us kind of like top forty or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like yep. I see. What uh, you mean. And and so. You're not wanting that? Well, I mean, we're not. I mean, he's done like Corn and Foo Fighters. Sure. and He's also and done Deftones. He's done Deftones. And I'm like, like those that. albums rule, but yep. that's not our band, you know? Right? And so I was kind of yep. nervous about that. God, I love um, that. Yeah. But dude, he literally, I mean, like first couple days, he's like, you know, I like mm -hmm. y'all. I want y'all cool. to sound like y'all. I just have a few ideas here and there. And he's, mm -hmm. he's totally, in my humble opinion, had some great ideas and great. crushed the whole thing. So... That's great to hear, man. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I, it's it's been unreal, man. Yeah, hmm. Actually, absolutely. One of the unreal. best recording experiences you've had. I mean, I like all recording experiences. Uh -huh. They're all they're all unique in their own way. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely different. You know, the cool. last every album I did with the Chariot mm -hmm. uh, was with Matt Goldman. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. And he yeah. rules, yeah. and yes. he's still. I mean, he's one of my good friends. So sure. even outside recording, so like, mm -hmm. you know, there's nothing. There's nothing that. There's nothing that's necessarily better or worse, just different, you know? Sure. And at the end of the day, I, I, I just, you know, this opportunity kind of fell in my lap, and so we just went with it, you know, and see what happens. Broham, jam. Dude, I left you a voicemail about this. Um, I started a painting show um, up here in Nashville. Uh, it's called Make It Perfect, and um, I want to see if you want to be on it. Someone sent me an article that you're going to be here at the end of June recording with Nick Riskenowitz. Is that how it sounds? That'll be cool. Got Julian Baker coming on there this Sunday, and I'm working on getting the head of the Nashville chapter of the Church of Satan. Yeah, a little Tacomi. A little Tacomi with the Danny. Holler. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you later, buddy. Bye. Yeah. I, I think um, I've known you long enough to know mm, mm, that mm. I think you doing art is probably good for you. <laughs> I, you know, it, do you agree? No, no, not really. Why? Um, I, I kind of realized that <clears throat> that painting oh, has got me more into the deeper emotions that I have, and but the, you're saying mm -hmm. that's not a good thing. Uh, it, it, it. Okay, let me let me equate it to this. So there was a painter um, in the abstract expressionist era that they were doctors were curious, you know, if, if they wanted to help people with uh, anxiety problems and stress right. problems, and they wanted to know if he could they could come paint with him. And he goes, "If you want to make someone crazy, get him painted." Uh, and so it's a lot different than than um, anything I've ever done, but I can't stop. Dude, I, I, you know what I'm I mean, I think it's so weird. If I wasn't mm -hmm. doing art, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I would be a loony bin. Dude, there's yep. no other way around it. Like, like the fact that I'm you able to do it, it, it helps me keep some sort of balance, some sort of maybe centered yep. scenario. And, and it's very, very, it's difficult for me not to get spiritual with it. You sure, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, obviously, that's something <laughs> totally. that just connects. Because I mean, yeah, you're just you're inventing something out of nothing. That's a one hundred percent, man. A, it's a wild thing to. And it, to it, put. If, if that doesn't come with <laughs> stress, elation, sadness, anger, all the things that make something beautiful. Yeah, but what are you saying? You should luck. not feel those feelings. No, no, I'm saying you should. Then why like, are you saying hearts? Be no point because I, I get too involved in those feelings, <clears> and I take them out of my studio into my life, and sometimes I have a hard time managing them you know i feel that and that's just the deal for me you know yeah, like, sure i'm into i'm way into experience well it's experience like a, it's like feelings. unlike anything else i mean mm -hmm. you, you you go to work at wherever mm -hmm. I mean, i've never had like a real job but mm -hmm. i imagine you go to work at a starbucks or something mm -hmm. or wherever mm -hmm. love starbucks and then you're like and then you're like you're done, so you go home, and you're not you're not a Starbucks person anymore. You're just a person. Yep. But when you're like an artist, or when you're a painter, always. or when you're making music, when you're, you're always that guy. You're always, like, <clears throat> like because I'm not done with my lyrics yet. Mm -hmm. There's things where I'm like hanging out, and I'm like, I'll be hanging out and be like, oh, I got a, you know, like I, oh, I can't work right now. I, I've just been working so hard. I, I I need to take a break and watch whatever just zombie out for a second so you zombie out for a second and then you're sitting there going a second and then you're sitting there going i could be working i, I know, like i should dude. be working like the thing's not done i, I gotta do the thing um I but i don't think when you're at, when you work at starbucks i don't know why i keep bringing that up but i don't That's think when okay. you work there i don't think yeah. when you're home you're going 
I could be making more coffee for people. You know what I mean? Like, what am I doing here? Maybe, I should be. <laughs> maybe they, maybe what is said is, man, I could pick up an extra shift. Fuck that extra shift. Yeah. I'm hanging out. You yeah, know what I mean? for sure. Yeah, dude. I, so yep. it's just a strange. It's, Julian, it's a Julian strange Baker thing. said the same thing, the same yeah. exact thing. Like, like, even if there's a, she has to be in a place where there's not a guitar around. Sure. Yeah, because yeah, she'll yeah. just pick it up and start playing. Dude, you know? here's, okay. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer. Mm -hmm. Well, let me, I, I'm not. I, I'm a firm believer in inspiration is for amateurs. You ever heard that? I, I have. I watched someone <laughs> do, a, do a talk on that. One time. Um, I, don't, I, yeah. I, 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 I believe it can be true. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, but you I go. also believe I'm amateur because I need inspiration. Yeah, a lot. same. I didn't know where you're going with it. Sure. I was like, I'm yeah. on that. I'm on that trade. Sometimes you're chilling, yeah. hanging out with your, your friend, and mm -hmm. there's a guitar there. You pick it up, and whoops, inspiration. Oh hits. yeah. And you can't do anything about it. You're stuck. You're like, the wind has come. It's a, it's in, it's engulfed you, and you're sitting there with a guitar. Yo, and hang like, on. And like, yeah, you're like, you're like, I need all y'all to leave. And they're like, this is my house. And you're like, you don't understand. Yeah. I don't know if yeah, this is yeah, coming yeah. back. And this riff is sick and I need it on, you know what I mean? Yes. I'm not going to remember it. And so yeah, yeah, thankfully yeah. we're in a 2019, we can whip out Recode our phone it. and just kind of like record it real yep. quick and, and it'll it, it exist, but. Or it, it, a, a, a version. A version, that's course, right. Totally like out. you don't know what path is going to go right. down. You don't know what, and so that's the thing. And it could suck tomorrow. Oh, Do you it know usually what does. Saying? It usually does. There's yep. no reason to think yep. it's going to be good tomorrow because today it rules, but at the end of the day, when it does strike it's like a spirit like you're, you're, yeah. it's for sure it's a wind and when it comes mm. it's like you you actually don't know you just want to i mm. want to mm -hmm. do everything in my power to make it but it, but real life is still going on you know what i mean yep. like real life's happening and and at the end of the day sometimes you just can't you know when you get in this spot you pray are you asking, do I pray? No, 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 no. I, I would imagine that you pray. Oh, yeah. At least sometimes. But when you get in this spot of not, like, like, because the transcendent spirit allows you to create something. Yeah. Okay. So when you are in this space of just feeling, like, stressed and frustrated, and, and this is asked out of, this is asked out of, like, like empathy, because I, yeah. I feel this way. So when you're in that frustrated spot, if it's not coming out, do you, do you ever pray that it would like literally yeah, sure. do that? You know, uh, <clears throat> I, I find mm -hmm. my, uh, I, I give it a different perspective. Cool. I want to hear it. Yeah, I, for sure. I'm ne I never, uh, how do I words? I never, mm -hmm. I find beauty in the journey. And yes. so, so therefore, I'm never, um, I mean, sometimes I'm a little stressed, like in the sense of like, I got to get this done, yeah. but I've, but my, uh, heart, if you will, yep. <laughs> not my brain, but if your uh, heart, yeah. I find that I'm, I've never been in a spot where I'm like, like, Lord, please give me something cool. phenomenal only because the journey itself is beautiful to me. So like even writing this record, like, and it took me a minute to get there maybe, but like even writing this record, it's like, I am gonna be in love with the end product. And I don't, I don't say that out of arrogance, I say it out of purely, I will not release it if I'm not. And I will write another song if, I, if there's something I'm not there. You know what I mean? I have that power before, it gets, before it gets released, you yeah. know? But, ah, it makes you feel good, yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> if the only thing you're holding on to is the destination, mm -hmm. uh, it's, what, the the journey is I mean the journey is all of the battle you know what I mean like I've I've been doing this record I mean arguably for a couple of years because sure. I'm always writing and and so if I'm home a couple of years ago I'll probably write and some of these songs are on there you know mm -hmm. and so yeah like if you don't enjoy that process mm -hmm. I find that the whole thing becomes nil because you're sure. looking at it you're looking back going like maybe you're happy with this final product but you're like Oh, that ripped my hair out getting yeah. there, you know what I mean? Oh, or whatever. Yeah. And that's yeah. not anything that I, mm -hmm. I, I love it. I love, I love not having those lyrics. Cool. I love looking at that blank page and going, I know there's something, Yes. you know what I mean? Yeah. There's something yeah. beautiful. Or you're looking at a sentence and you're mm -hmm. like, 
that sentence is cool, but there's something better. There's yeah. something that'll hurt worse. There's yeah. something that'll, you yeah. know, I love that whole thing. And, and I guess someday maybe I'll be sitting there way past the deadline going, nope, never came up with it. <laughs> but for now, but for now, I've never felt that way. You know cool. what I mean? Yeah, and so fair. for me, it's, it's the that's whole, great. it's the actual like journey of it that I really, really enjoy. That's personally, man, it's you know great what I mean? to hear that. Yeah. I think, yeah, it seems like I, I, I enjoy it, but when I'm knee deep in it, I, it's like, you want to talk about obsessive, Sure. you know, it's like, and I don't, I'm, I'm pretty OCD. Like, I mean, like I said, not just counting things, but it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, all this other stuff. And it's like, it's like, it feels like hell sometimes when it just <clears throat> isn't coming out. It made me think a little bit when you, the, the way you explained the therapeutic oh. process, uh, <clears throat> the way that you experience it, because I, I tend to want to hate everything that I make while I'm making it. Okay. And, but then when I get, <clears throat> when I get toward a place that I'm like, oh, I can see, I can see something developing in the painting. How beautiful is that? Yeah. It, 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 yeah. I, 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 I mean, if it was easy, mm-hmm. everyone would do it. There you go. You yep. know what I mean? And, and there, that, and there are some who think it's just <clears throat> easy and they sure. do easy things and it's like, yeah. And, and, and go ahead and do that, but see how long that fucking lasts. Right. Several songs that ended up on the first 68 record yep. were stuff that I wrote in the chariot that I was like, that just doesn't fit yeah. the chariot. You know cool. what I mean? Like, yeah. and so I say several, I think, I think uh-huh. I only kept like two maybe, but That's like, yeah. but still yeah. like, yeah, there was definitely a, uh, I mean, you know, so had I literally deleted them, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like mm-hmm. those would have been gone forever, but fast forward however many years and here I am at 68 and I'm like, oh that song's like rocking, like it's a yeah. rock song, there it's meant for this sort yep. of thing. And so, yeah, so That's that great. sort of stuff is definitely more of a, uh, yeah, I, I revisit old stuff all the time. Cool. Um, How do you break your own boundaries? Is it just the time, the time that you put in over years, it just changes? Or are there times where you're like, okay, I want to do that different and better? Do yeah, you ever have those yeah. thoughts? Yeah, there, there's definitely, I mean, I, I a little, challenges sometimes come along mm-hmm. uh like what like if you well can, yeah, yeah yeah i'm trying to think of a good well, example. The lyric thing well you're... like even more like so in the chariot i was uh <clears throat> i was listening to a lot of ennio morricone uh who, who does all the uh uh good to bad the ugly like spaghetti western Got soundtrack okay. like yep I don't know if i can do it on we'll get but, but either way you can. Uh, pay it pay for it it'll be <laughs> oh, cool uh, you know so anyway i I was just listening to so much of that dude Uh and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And as as a small challenge to myself, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go, I wonder if I could sneak in a spaghetti Western part (sighs) to a a, a, The Chariot song and it it work. You know, (laughs) that's the key part is it's got to work. I've I've had a ton of ideas that no one will ever hear that, you know, just didn't work. Yep. And so anyway, I don't know what album it was, but basically uh, whatever album it was, I, it was just a challenge and Mm -hmm. I had never written spaghetti Western before. I'd never, uh, you know, I just, and, but I just tried it and, and, and it kind of happened. And like, I think, I think, you know, people might disagree. I think the end result was real fun and yes, and a real good time. But, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it was, it was a stretch for me. I had to like study, you know, like what's, what's the, what is, I had to, I mean, I, I was listening to it already, but I'm like, I had, I had to like literally study like what, what makes it this. Man. Okay, I'm gonna paint now. Let's see what you got. Cool, <laughs> heck yeah. It's, it me, it, yeah. okay, here we yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, let me so, finish and then I'll explain it. Yep. Cause this looks, this does look a little gruesome, but I, but it, it, let I, it look, I think yeah. it's a story that, I, that I'm, does. that I'm experiencing. You mentioned spaghetti westerns, and that's what I clue into. And whether I mean, I'm you're sure incorrect, you're, but cool. I like that. Thank See, you. that's why the art is so beautiful. Yeah, it's great, man. You it's know great. what? I've mm-hmm. I've written, I've started, uh, I've started writing mm-hmm. books. Good. Uh, and um, I'm writing a kids' book right yeah. now. But uh, I've started writing on multiple occasions mm-hmm. books uh, or a book on either specific lyrics of mine or whatever, and I always like like halfway through or, or several songs into it, I go, you know what? This isn't why, like, 
One of my all time favorite, most beautiful and amazing things to do in the world is create art. One of my least favorite things in the whole wide world is explaining it. Copy. You know what I'm saying? Copy that. Like, totally like so if I, if I have a lyric and it's just a, I don't know, even it's just like a cool, like, you know, rock and roll lyric mm -hmm. uh, and someone else hears it and thinks, oh my gosh, like my father passed away and that means a lot because of this and how it connects or whatever. Yeah. When, I, when you see it in a book mm -hmm. and that's it, just finalized, there's mm -hmm. no interaction, there's no uh, clarification, there's no back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's a very dangerous thing in my mind because I agree with that. Person sure. A who took it and made it this gold nugget of like, oh, it means so much because when my dad passed away, this thing or whatever. And I'm like, actually, it just sounded kind of cool because it was like rock and roll and I'm riding a horse or, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Those two disconnects are, yeah. are the mystery of it. And, the, and the, that's why art's so beautiful because mm -hmm. you can see something and just be like, oh, this took me or whatever. And then someone else might see something else. That's beautiful and that's yeah. great. And I think that's a huge metaphor for humanity in and of itself. Like we all come from different walks, different backgrounds, whatever, but we can just hang out. Jerry's Artorama um, in East Nashville on Main Street sponsors our show with this Lucas acrylic. And I talked to Amanda in there. Come here, come back up here. I talked to Amanda last night, the manager over there, and she said, can I give you one criticism on the, on the, uh, adver on the uh, uh, whatever this is? And I was like, yeah, hit it. She goes, can you say Jerry's Artorama instead of Jerry's Art Supply? And I was like, done, that's your criticism. Thank you very much for being straight with that. Um, so we're happy to, happy to use this paint. If you haven't used it, you should. Jerry's Artorama um, on Main Street in East Nashville. Just go in there and um, tell them we sent you so it'll like uh, keep our sponsorship up and sweet, you dig? Bye. Oh, hey, by the way, this is my friend Josh Scoggin. This is Make It Perfect. Hi. Yes, very I'm, happy to have him here. We are currently making it perfect. Yes, we are. So. And look, I mean, if you don't think so, then maybe you need to click off it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Also, uh, this is my friend Ryan Rado. Yes. Uh, he uh, is, what do you live here? Nashville. Yeah, I do. Well, and, uh, Yeah. Good enough. And uh, he's a painter. <clears throat> Uh, and he was just a good, good old, he used to be just a good old hang. <laughs> That's all here. I, I think That's he, all was good for I him, think yeah. he had a yeah. job description, but I don't know what it was. Oh my gosh. I'm just making noise. I got a bunch of shaz in here. Look at this. That's pretty cool. See, look at this Christmas ornament, dude. My aunt made me. <clears throat> look at that. 19, oh. 1990. What? I'm gonna just hang this right here. Noich. <laughs> Josh. Yo. Um, do you have a speculative idea of when this record is going to come out, should you choose to release it? Uh, I End of this year, worst case scenario, beginning of next Copy. year. Copy. Got it. Uh, things, uh, you know, it's, with technology, you would think, think, you would think things move faster, but for mm -hmm. some reason it seems like things move a lot slower. <laughs> um, so it's funny because I just talked about how I don't want to explain ah, the art, yeah. but I, I feel as though hmm? this can use some explanation because it just looks so Hit sinister. It. It's great. Um, so I was thinking about, uh, oh, honestly, I was thinking like, why am I here? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Like not like, like, not, like on, not like on the planet Earth. Okay. Uh, maybe that's involved too. But why am I here on the uh, today? Yep. And I was like. I was just, I went down this path of thinking about, um, I guess I was just kind of like, well. You started on the edge, I noticed that. Yeah, well, it was sort of to sometimes. Creep uh, in. Well, remember we were talking about mm -hmm. um, inspirations uh, for yeah. amateurs. Sometimes you just got to start painting. Sometimes yeah, you gotta copy, start doing, totally, and, yeah, and totally. And I was like, well, this yep. is a safe spot that won't mess up oh, this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and so yeah, I just yeah. kind of did it. But uh, that's great. I, I, so anyway, my, I was like, I reckon he calls me here because he likes some art that I've done. I do. Uh, uh, I think the no. Least, I, hang on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. No. I'm going to tell you the truth. The latest stuff in '68, yes. Okay. I was never really a fan of the Cherry or Norma Jean. Right on. So as the progression happened, I'm in. Cool. And, and who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah. You see I don't what care. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. So <laughs> it's like, and the fact that 
we took a chance. Luke texted me and said you were going to be here. And I'm like, oh, that would be badass to have him. And it would help our show. Yeah, yeah. That's the honest win, truth. Win, win, win. Yeah, um, go ahead. Well, regardless, that mm-hmm. made me think, <clears throat> like, have you ever thought, like, why are you an artist? Yeah. Like, I, I, or, th- or I th- am I even an artist? Well, okay, know? so that's a whole other thing. I, yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say, like, I don't know if you're born an artist or if you ah. just make it. I think everybody can do everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, work ethic and, and uh, I think that's 90% of it. Yep, um, with you. But I, I wonder mm-hmm. if the reason you and you or I care so much is because maybe the only thing I think we might be born, like people give so much, oh, there's naturally so talented, naturally. And I'm like, that doesn't do anybody any good because right. yeah. I've had people say nice things about me and use that word sometimes like, oh, you're so natural. And I'm like, um, actually, I work my butt off and it's a little insulting. That, you know what I mean? Like not insulting. I take it as a yeah. compliment. It's like, what do you mean by naturally? Well, talented? naturally, what do you yeah, think? Yeah. I just woke up yeah. and I'm like, riff. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. like, like I didn't just Bring pop out of the out. wound with yeah. some sweet riffs. You know what I mean? Crying um, riffs. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> Belching riffs. And so anyway, oh, it's good. so who cares? All that yep. to say, all that to say, mm-hmm. I was like, why am I? What's the journey that made me want to be an artist or made me be an artist or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the journey in, a, in its oversimplification mm-hmm. goes like this. Mm-hmm. In second grade, it's a true story. I think it was second grade. <clears throat> we get uh, like a nonsense, uh, like busy work. You know what I mean? Just sort of like a, um, mm-hmm. like, oh, do this. I'm going to go over here and not deal with children. Copy. For a bit. You know what yep. I mean? Yep. So I think it was like this little bear or whatever, mm-hmm. and it was like something like color or something, who knows. Well, I didn't color the bear. Uh, I just drew this big star over it. So it's like, you know, it's a sheet of paper, mm-hmm. and I just drew the star over the bear, and I colored that star in, in, in a way of just being like, oh, this is there, but I don't have to like acknowledge mm-hmm. and color this thing. Mm-hmm. And I know I turned it in, but of course I turned it in so much earlier than everyone else. <clears throat> she makes me do it again. She says, she like, I didn't get an F, but she proverbial, you know, she, she essentially gave me an F and was like, no, you gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like basically like reject all but throws it away in the trash. And I remember like, (laughs) what's her name? Let's go to her house. No, I I know her name, but, uh, (laughs) but, um, but um, in my mind, I'm going, uh, you know, I was a young kid. I couldn't, Mm -hmm. I was second grade or whatever age and I couldn't like explain, I couldn't, but I was like, Mm -hmm. no, that's what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing that I believed in or wanted to do, or I was just trying to, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, so anyway, uh, you know, I I think public schools have a tendency to suck the the genius out of people sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's the thing we can get into later. But, uh, but nevertheless, you know, here I am getting kind of subdued or whatever. So Mm -hmm. anyway, fast forward to, I'm in high school Mm -hmm. and I'm like, because of middle school and early high school and stuff, I, I sort of start sort of branching out and, and doing some things. Well, anyway, a friend of mine, uh, Julie Strickland and I, mm-hmm. <clears throat> there was this like, I don't remember what exactly, it was some sort of like anti abuser kid thing. Sounds great. Yeah, like yeah, a, a, real, sounds, a real thing really to support. Good. Yep. And so that they were like, they great. were like, oh, we want you to create, we were, me and her were like, uh, you know, in, in these art classes and stuff. They're like, oh, we want you to create, uh, some sort of painting or something mm. that can deal with that. Mm-hmm. So me and her had this idea. We're like, oh, let's just get ridiculous. Like, let, like, we're not going to win. Let's just lose <laughs> our, like, let's scare people. Good. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's just yeah. be. So I don't remember exactly what it was. I remember those, like, I, I think it, there was, like, newspapers that was, mm-hmm. like, whatever. And then I remember we did our hand, and we just did, like, red paint, like, whatever. And we just, I mean, it was as, like, Marilyn Manson yeah. as you can imagine. Great. Like, yeah. just, uh, like, uh, like, Shocking. just, we just wanted to, like, we wanted it to be hanging up and people go, oh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, be almost offended. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, yeah. so now I think about it and I go, oh, we just wanted people to think about it. But really, we were just trying to like, just, we wanted people to just be like scarred by this, you know, yeah. whatever. We won. God, we ended God up winning dummy. the thing. I remember just being like, we have, we literally affected yeah. people. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And that was like, I remember that being a sort of tor- turning point because it made me feel like, whoa. That just made me want to sit down. Yeah, I did incredible. the thing, we did the thing that we wanted to do with no expectation of winning, no expectation of, of getting the prize. Like, let's just make it make a statement. Mm. And then it won. Yeah. And that was literally the moment. Did it click? 
It, it clicked in a way of like, I want to do more of this. Oh, cool. <clears throat> and then we got our, our, uh, our thing hung up in the oh. High Museum of Art in, in Atlanta. No So God. literally in like a legit museum, there's just this Narnar painting of just yeah. like, pfft, you know, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so anyway, all these things oh, were, cool. were feeling good, but it yep, was, yep, uh, yep. and so anyway, I was like, I, I want to do this mm -hmm. a lot, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I need to do it in a way that, because if it hadn't won, we, would have, we could have stood on our own two feet going, yeah, yeah we did the thing yeah. we wanted to do, totally, which was just yeah. make people Outside. like crazy. Yeah, 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 totally, like just yeah. be crazy. So then uh -huh. uh, the very first concert I ever went to mm -hmm. um, was Sorry. Bush, Sweet. which this is a little bit like their album co cover. Yeah, 16, 16 Stone. Stone. Oh, right, Bush, dude. Uh, Toadies, this is a little bit <gasps> like their guy. Uh, rubber neck or whatever, yeah. rubber neck or whatever it's called. That's a great record, by the oh, way. Oh, so good. I listen to all these still. And then Hum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Gosh, that's a zebra. Darn it, bro. So that's a zebra. I was going to wear my Hum <laughs> shirt today. Unreal. You blew it. Dude, I know, man. Um, I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And so, I, so, so that was the other big turning point for me, among others. But that yeah. was, I, I literally was watching this. It was at the Fox Theater in Atlanta. Parents had to drop me off. Like, and yes. I, I couldn't drive or anything. You for know, sure. it's like, I don't know, ninth grade, yeah. I had to have been in or something. And yeah. so anyway, I was just literally like the whole time just like, yeah. I want to do this. It was my first concert that I ever like purposely went to. Like um, my parents took me to like some classic rock stuff mm -hmm. back in the day, mm -hmm. but like that was- Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, that, so a little bit of this, a little bit of that yep. was very, and, and a little bit of feeling bummed about this, I think is a very oversimplification way of why I am the guy I am today. You yes. know what I mean? And like yeah. that, and that's, and that concert though, I was legit, like, I didn't have a guitar, didn't know how to play guitar. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I just want to do this. Can I say, let me say something to you real quick. <clears throat> I, I think, I think it's really, really telling of the, a story in general that you're able to pinpoint these times <clears throat> that led you to being, uh, had an, had an assistance in who you are today. Like, like, this scenario came to your mind, you painted it. Yeah. Then this scenario came to your mind. And these are years apart. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. they're significant. Huge. So it's like, pay attention affect, to your significance, you know? Well, they affected me. Yeah. I mean, they changed. Greatly, apparently. They changed. I mean, this one, I, you know, obviously I had to kind of go back to, but I remember feeling uh, like being a kid being like, I, I couldn't articulate it, but I remember just being like, Mm -hmm. Wait, the who heck? are you to say yeah. what I can and can't do is, is art or whatever? As you say that, <clears throat> like that feeling, like feel that feeling and does it, does it manifest in your body at all? I know that's a strange question. Um, I don't know if it manifests. Mm -hmm. It makes me, I can feel that feeling in it and it, mm -hmm. it's something that I, when I'm writing probably any record mm -hmm. I've ever mm -hmm. been a part of or anything, even this, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's easy to go back to that and be like, I will, I don't, I will never, I guess I can never say never, but mm -hmm. someday I might need to pay bills and play for some, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, know. But yeah, for yeah, now, yeah. I don't want to feel like someone else can say what I can and can't do, yeah. you know, and that's in why, this realm. Yeah. yeah totally, and that's yeah. why, you know, a lot of people get on record labels and, and they're, and they want to sort of tell you what and, and mm -hmm. i'm on a great label that lets me just do uh, my it's thing. to their advantage <clears throat> well i it's i thank you yep. uh, but also i i couldn't do, do it otherwise yeah I, yeah, yeah. I mean? like totally, i'd be like yeah. i'm not gonna make you any yep. money because <laughs> totally. i can't yeah. do that you know? and it w might even be half-hearted <clears throat> oh it to, would be zero hearted. yeah dude i mean i couldn't it, yes. i couldn't do it i couldn't do <laughs> totally. it totally I'm, I'm i respect that and it's it, carving out your own your own uh, place as an artist, that's tough, man. <clears throat> For me, it's tough. But I, I'm a little later in the game, man. I started painting when I was 37, so it was like. Yeah, but what does that even mean? That's, yeah, totally, man. Maybe like my, late in the game. My body hurts a little more? Like life game, maybe? I don't know. Like, am I gonna die? <clears throat> I mean, are you gonna die soon? Then you'd be oh, late to the game. God, but if you stay alive till you're 120, you're pretty young. <laughs> Freaking biblical, you know what I mean, man? I was trying to think of things I wanted to any questions I had and I couldn't really okay. think of anything. And then I had a memory of a oh, Facebook man. post I made when I was probably <laughs> 13. What did you say, a Facebook post? Facebook post. Yes. Okay. Bring it on. And it said, the, the caption was, my favorite album by The Chariot. Okay. And the picture was one just normal old saucy hot wing. 
on a plate. <laughs> nice. Shit. Nice. <laughs> that's a compliment. I one, love one that. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I love that. I. I'll go dig that picture up and put Dude, it on the screen. What's funny right is, <laughs> was that a Facebook or Instagram? It's a Facebook post. Hmm. I don't. I don't really check Facebook, but I feel like I've seen that. <laughs> but. No offense to you, but I, there was, there was, I saw a couple of those. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but they're funny every time because, <laughs> because we knew that that would probably happen. That's Doing what you do. Um, and again, how great is that? That art can just be something so serious and Personal. yet something so hilarious at the same time as taking a chicken wing and putting it on a plate. And saying, boom, this is this dude's deal. Yeah. You know? I'm trying to, I'm trying to frickin' eat some wangs. Dude, I like some good old wang here and there. <laughs> that was a sexual reference. Oh, maybe I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. God, well hey, we already ended this once and then we got back on it. This is my friend Josh Goggin. Hey dude, thank you very much. What a much. pleasure. Had a great time. We made uh, it perfect. Hey, what's your band called? 68. 68. <laughs> What is that? What is that from? <clears throat> uh, my dad had a '68 Camaro. Got it. And he's passed away now. And uh, he, uh, yeah, as cool cars do, yeah. it just sort of brings two dudes together. And uh, and it was a cool car. And it was uh, and yeah. So it, that mixed in with a few other things mm. made me cool with naming the band that. Got it. So yeah, it's a great name. Make it perfect show uh, on Instagram and, uh, subscribe if you're into the vibes that we're throwing at you. Cause you know, you are and email us. What is the email? He doesn't email, know. Email me. Make a perfect show at <laughs> gmail.com. And is that it Luke? 1-800.com. One <laughs> what am I, am I making, am I making little, this is what I'm doing. This is what the hell I'm doing. I'm flipping this to get a different vibe going. I don't like that at all. Okay, here we go. The fucking hour lull just happened. Just nothing. I love it. <laughs> Are you, uh, mm -hmm. when you, when you're painting, mm -hmm. Are you alone with silence?